I meet the most interesting people in the world right here on Duval Street in beautiful downtown Key West. That's right. I'm Kit Carson, the Earl of Pizza, and I talk to the rock stars, the heroes, and the gods all day long. It's what I do. And we sit right here in front of Angelina's Pizza and have a great time doing it. Yep, you bet and, that. And tonight, Get pizza too. Yeah. Tonight I have a young lady with me. Would you look at the camera and tell everybody your name and where you're from? My everybody wants to sit with Kit. Yeah. My name is Kim Vanderstappen and I am from Johnsburg, Illinois. Kim from where? Johnsburg, Illinois. That sounds cold. It is cold. It's snowing out right it now. It is That's cold. That's why we're here. That's why you're here. That's so why we're here. All, in all fairness, how long have I known Kim? Probably pretty much when you opened up this pizza place. That was in 1988. Yeah, we've been coming down since 87, so, so there you go. Yeah, so from almost day one, her and this young guy would come here camping out bicycles. Truck camping, or Truck tent ca camping, tent camping, no electric, no water. Yeah. And then we got the truck camper. When we had kids, we had to yep. get a truck camper. A truck camper. No sleeping in the van anymore. Yeah. And now you've graduated all the way to a fifth wheel. The kids left, and now we're a fifth wheel. What happens when kids leave? It, it, it's it is. Amazing. It's amazing. nice. With the empty nesters. So, you're from Johnsburg. 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 What do you do in Johnsburg? Uh, I like to garden. And not much. It's a town of 4,000 people, so... <laughs> It's a big town. <laughs> it is a big so town. So do you garden or farm? Gar well, let's see. John will do the cows at a friend's place. He, he likes does to the take cows. care of the cows. Did you probably got pictures of the cows. I've got plenty of pictures of cows. cows. i got yeah. tons of pictures of yeah. cows. And, no. and trailers. Oh, yeah. And cows in trailers. And it broke our truck. And <laughs> had to get it fixed before we came. And now we're Life here. Life on the farm. It is. Yep. So what do you what do? You do? You just garden? I garden, I like to cook, I have a new granddaughter, so our first I'm, grandbaby, wow. and babysitter. Wow, and you have how many kids? Three kids. Three kids. Three kids. And the oldest to the youngest? The oldest is Austin, Yeah. and he will be 32 Good Lord. This, this month, and our middle guy, West, named after Key West. West, and, named after Key West. Yeah, Westley, wow. but we call him West. John didn't want West, so we had to go with Wesley and call him West, and then we have uh, Trey, who is now Tess, wow. who is from a boy to a girl. Oh yeah. So look at that. Look at you. Throw Tr you, huh? Trey. Trey is now Tess. Tess. And you come, and and she will come. She comes this week. Oh really? On Sunday. And how old is she? She will be 25. 25. 25 I, this month. She'll I, be on the ninth. So I've pretty we'll much down here. watched these kids almost Grow be born. Up. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. You know, oh, it's kind of funny. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so, so in the in the thirty years you've been coming to Key West, other than kids growing up and changing, what have you seen here that you changed? Yeah, changed. Let's see. Mallory Square was a dump, and now it's not. Yep. The CVS was a bank parking lot. It was a bank parking lot. When we spent uh, Valentine's Day up at Rick's. Yeah. And then we did a little whatever in the parking lot, and then came back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trey, if you've ever wondered, I'm not just kidding. No, the kids weren't around yet. This was pre kids. <laughs> pre kids. <laughs> pre kids. It's just thinking about practicing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Let's I hear see, you. The, uh, the boats came. We didn't have any boats before. And all the boats, all the uh, yeah. cruise ships. Yeah, we had a Thursday one started. I don't know where it started. Somewhere 85, 86, 87. Yeah. We had one every week. And they had, let's see, they had a, at the end of here, yeah. they had the uh, gambling boat and the glass oh, yeah. bottom boat. Yep. And I don't think that's, I don't know if that stuff's around anymore. The gambling boat, I don't know. It kind of came and went. Glass yeah. bottom boat's still there. In fact, um, my best best friend and sometimes lookalike, Captain Brian, is the captain of uh, the glass bottom boat. They just celebrated 70th anniversary. Really? Yeah, it's been in business for wow. 70 years. Wow. And in all fairness, it used to be called the Fireball. And I don't know what it that was. That was probably pre us, I don't know. No, well, no, somewhere in, because I okay. came down, it was called the Fireball. Okay. All and right. then it became the Pride of Key West. You know, but that's an old, that's one of the oldest institution tourist things on Other this island. Other than the conch train. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I'd have to ask. No, I just remember as a kid though, when we came down as kids and we did the conk train and we would so go... So you came down as a kid or are you like, talking about as an adult? No, as a child with my as mom child? and dad. So what year was that? Probably 
Caprice probably had to be 74, 70s? 72. Right. I bet 72. Wow. 70. So and how did your parents? We what? traveled all over America in our little pop-up camper. Yeah. And we were every state. So your family was a traveling family like mine. Traveling just in the summer, we would do two weeks in June and a week in August camping. Oh, so y'all just go. Yeah. No, oh. we had a house, but then we no, would no. just vacation. No. We 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 were lived, a gypsy. We were, we lived on the road. Yeah. No, yeah. we didn't live on the road. Yeah, we lived on the road for like six, seven years. Wow. And that's you what. See a lot with that. Yeah, I, I went there. You know, by the time I was like. 10, 11 years old, I've been to every state in America. I've been everywhere but Alaska. I haven't been to Alaska yet either. See, and I did Hawaiian <laughs> High School, and we were going to do Alaska with the camper, but we're here so long that I don't want to be away from home for another two, three months traveling we were, to Alaska. We were going to do Alaska. Let's and go together. Yeah, we should. We should make a trip out of it. We got room in the camper. We were going to do Alaska two different times, and one time my mom got pregnant. And we didn't go. And then the next time she, she was pregnant, we were going to go. And it's like, no, not until the baby's born. And then we never did. Then my wife and I, we were going to go to Alaska. And instead... You went we, to Cuba. No. Oh, well, <laughs> Cuba. There's always Cuba. No. We went to Canada and did the Canadian, eh? The uh, Mountaineer, Royal Mountaineer train okay. ride, which was great. But it's not Alaska. Yeah. Still in oh, Alaska. Yes. We did we did Canada too as kids. So we went there. Growing up and traveling, what was your favorite place as a kid? I loved Yosemite. Yosemite. I loved Yosemite. Yeah. Loved here, obviously. Yeah. yeah. They're about as polar opposite yeah. as you can get. I know. And when we came here though, when we did the contrain tour with my mom and dad, and we went through Fort Zach, whatever, with Fort Zachary, but the naval base over there. Right. And the contrain tour would go through there and it would say, you cannot take any pictures. You know pictures on the naval base. Okay, there's no my dad. pictures. The minute you get on the naval base, there he is, taking pictures, because that's my dad. <laughs> Let's fuck the system. Of course. Well, they probably really meant to say, take a lot of pictures, and they just messed up the script. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> because you know we're going to do exactly the opposite. Yep. Oh, yeah. We're guys. That's yeah. what we do. <laughs> Don't touch. Ah, we're all over it. That's so funny. <laughs> so, childhood growing up and was all over the place. But, but mostly, don't they know? We got a couple more going. There we go. One more, and then hey, we're, hey, we're hey. gone. Who knew it was bike yeah, week? Motorcycles. But you pretty much lived there your whole life, other than your traveling. Not well at home, but not. In, we were in Grays Lake, and then moved to. Uh, John and I, when we got married, we moved to John's. Birth. When did you meet John? High school. Yeah. High we school. didn't start dating till after high school. He yeah. fell in love with me freshman year, and I'm going, no, you're a skinny nerd. I don't want to date you. And yeah. then we became best, best friends senior year. He's still year, a skinny nerd. Where is he? He's out here running around somewhere. I don't know where the he's, hell he is. He's doing something nerdy. He's taking pictures and climbing the tree. I know what he's he doing. He could be in this trip joint he's, next door. I don't know. No, he's lurking around. He's watching us. I know he's Hiding doing something. out is what he's doing, yeah, because he, he got me to do this, yeah. <laughs> he got you to do it. Hey, well, after... We'll get him to do it next. Yeah. You know, so why not? Too, yeah. So you're down here. You just got down here for New Year's Eve. 30th. Yeah, the 30th. Because yeah. I wanted to make New Year's Eve this year. Last year, we were in here at 1030 eating pizza. And I'm going, I'm done, John. I can't make it till midnight. Because we started at 5. Last year? Last year. Austin <laughs> called us. And he goes, are you there? And I go, oh, sorry, Austin. We made it into Key West. I go, we're at the Waterfront Brewery. He goes, are you going to make it to midnight, Mom? I go, yeah, we'll make it to midnight. Well, by 1030. Yeah. Like, Hell no. Yeah. Hell no. You know, we you know, love and refer to it as the night of the amateur, amateur hour. Yeah. Because everybody tries to make it to midnight yeah. and so many people We can't. did this year though. Um, they, they either, they're done uh, or they went and crashed early so they could do it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's funny. It's a, it's an interesting night, that's yeah. for certain. But we made it, so we got home like, I think it was like one This year you did make it. We did. We Congratulations. Made it. Yeah, we stayed here until it was like like 10, 15 minutes before course, midnight, and then we had to shove our way out on the sidewalk and got to see it all. And, and I'm going to call out Sloppy Joe's. They're 20, 24. The 24 didn't work. The this 20 was 20. Did, but the We're back in the Stone work. Ages, boys and girls. It's the year 20, according yeah. to Sloppy Joe's. It was. Yeah, 20. Stone Age 20. And you should have been there. You had your white jacket and red pants on. I was everywhere. 
I didn't see it at midnight here, though. Uh, at midnight, I was right inside here. Oh, were you? Yeah, well, you noticed we closed the doors. Oh, I did. Tradition. And wait, I asked Mikey, I go, okay, why are the doors closed? Oh, it's a little party that yeah, you Yeah, it's a tradition. We closed for yeah. 15 minutes to a half hour, yeah. depending on how long the guys need. Yeah. You know, and then we reopened, and it's just crazy and from we there to close. We were at that point. Midnight yeah. came, and we had a we opened, opened, we opened. The, the guys this year were like, no, let's just open. We opened at like 12.15. Oh, right after that, yeah. We were, we were closed maybe 20 minutes. Well, they got to make money when they can. They well, got to make know. the tips. Well, I know. We all got to make money when we can. Yeah. That's a fact. That is a fact, without a doubt. So tell me one good Key West story that you got. I know you got plenty, and I'm putting you on the spot. I do oh this to everybody. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. I, okay, probably the best pleasure. one I have is when yeah. we were here for Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day and did the wild and, thing in the van and came back on that yeah. night. That was that was the wild thing. <laughs> that was that was so 1989. <laughs> Probably was. This was before we had kids, and Austin was born in '92. So. <laughs> I love it. And you guys still act like kids. You still ride your bikes down here from from Stock Island. We do, but like tonight we were going to, but then we loaded them in the truck. I was at the pool, and the and the clouds came in, the cold, the wind, and it's like screw that. She's from the north, and she's cold. Look at. I know. Oh, I, I know. That's, I get it. That's what I told John. I go, we look like we live down here because I'm freezing <laughs> and I've got all of this on. But this that's is, why we come. I hate is, the cold. This is what I, I wore on my I, scooter tonight. And I'm like, what the hell's wrong with me? I've been wearing an undershirt, a t-shirt, a, a, a blanket shirt, and a jacket. And then I just run up with a t-shirt and a blanket shirt. I'm like, what's no. wrong with me? I, need, I was I need the running warm. late. I knew what it was. Plus, as always in the restaurant and pizza business, I've got a broken ice machine. Yeah, imagine that. But the good thing is it's so cold, the ice isn't melting. And the good thing is, is you don't need beer for the ice, so. You don't need yeah, ice so for your good. beer. Not in the winter anyway. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like a mute point. Yeah. But I'll, I'll keep working on it in between interviews. There I think go. I might have almost got it working. Do you? Yeah. Maybe. Well, we had it move here because there was a guy that had to put a TV in over here, so he kicked yeah. us out of our seat. Oh, oh, scammy and, Sammy. And then what's the other time we get kicked out when they do oh, the uh, St. Patrick's Day run or something? Well, it, they do something in they here. Always they always move those three chairs at night at like no, but this anywhere is between the day somewhere. Yeah. Where they kick us out. And it's when like, it gets what? too busy, they, they feel that they need to move all the tables yeah. and chairs. I, I get it and gotta, I don't get it. Gotta follow you know, the rules. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Doesn't doesn't make it any better, but still, we have to put up with them. Yes. They they we're our, we're their neighbors. <laughs> All right, so you're here for how long this time? Three months. Three months. Three and you months. got. Took us Aust when we were when wait, we you got Tess coming in first. Uh, Who's coming in first? She's the only one that's coming in. She comes oh, in wow. on Sunday. Austin wow. and Maggie would come in for the Songwriters Fest. But okay. now they've got, they came in with their little daughter last year, right. but now they've got some bachelorette parties and stuff that they've got to do all of that. So, so and, and nobody does bachelorette parties at home anymore. It's like, let's no, they're go a destination. Fly. Yeah. Fly. I mean, you don't know how many Barbie bachelorette parties I've seen in the past 12 months. Did you see the Barbie movie? No, I did not. I, did not. I have no I desire to see it. I don't feel I need to at no. this point. I've watched them all get drunk and puke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it anymore. So I'm and good. It wasn't pink puke. You know, try not to not look at that point. You know, I'm done. So whatever. <laughs> so can I? I want to dive into something a little more personal with you. All right, dive away. You ready? I'm ready. Because I know I'm curious. Okay. On your transition, son. Uh huh. How long did you know? I didn't know till last year here. When they came in March, yeah. they were here right before St. Patrick's right. Day. Picked them up at the airport. We were, you know, day drinking, whatever we did. Uh -huh. And then John went to bed, and his girlfriend was in the camper, and he, we were still sitting outside drinking. And he goes, I gotta tell you something. And it's like, you know what? I started crying. I go, I'm there for whatever you need. Yep. I'm, I'm there for you. I'm your mom. Right. And I'll be there. Yep. It doesn't matter. And he said, gave me a hug and he goes, I was really afraid to tell you, Mom. And I go, why is that? And he goes, because I respect you so much and you, and I go, was I that mean of a mom? I can't. And I he can't. goes, no, he goes, I respected you so much that I just didn't, wanted you, to, I wanted you to be okay with it. I can't imagine how hard it was for him. And that was the hardest part, is to right. 
I don't think tell. we understand. I mean, I know I don't understand it at no. all. I, you know, I'm and I, don't ask I have a compassion for it. Right, and I and I say I should probably ask you more questions. Right. And the lady that cuts my hair and stuff, she and she would ask me stuff, and I'm going, do this. I go, I should probably ask more questions as a mom, but I'm just accepting it as whatever it is. It is. And, and that's what it is. And so is he transitioning, or is he just? Um, um, he's getting his name legally changed, okay. and you know, taking the. Uh, the blockers hormones and stuff yep. the hormones and things like that and yep. then like, right and we'll so from there. is he and the girlfriend still together oh yeah oh yeah they're playing on to being together forever and, okay yeah. and okay. when i told my mom because we have a i have a gay nephew that lives with my mom okay and i told my mom on mother's day and she's totally fine with it and she goes now all i need is a lesbian grandchild and when i told <laughs> trey that and he goes well, I kind of am now because I'm with the girls, so she got two for one. So what him. is so? So he's transitioning to a girl, and he still wants to be with a girl. Correct. And she wants to be with him. Right. And they're all fine with it. They're all good, and I'm yeah. good. And she's a wonderful you know, girl, and I'm so glad. And, and I, you know, other than my curiosity runs wild, I don't really care, and I'm good with it. Yeah. You know, but it, I, I am always. Because and the thing is, is anybody that I mean, most people that whether they're they're gay, they're you know, le whatever, right. trans transgenders, right. most of them are still the same people on the inside. They're, sure, they're, they're kind, and he's that's like, just your sexuality. It's such a it's, kind I, it's, soul. It's, it's it's only the sexuality yeah. part. It doesn't mean it doesn't take away your morals. No, it doesn't take away your thought all. process. Well, you know, your thought process might change some. But the morals, your values, but your values all of and the things the that you hold esteem, the things you hold what dear. People have to realize right. That none is. of that changes. No. And and for me, you know, it's just my naive curiosity of well, you know, as the well, thousand I was questions. Just as, I was just as naive. Right. And and, and, and I uh, haven't asked a thousand questions because I'm just accepting whatever she wants to do. I love her dearly and whatever. And I think. Know, did did you ever have any inkling? Nope, none. Because none at all. I know, you know. I mean, I think a lot of what parents. What the heck is he doing here? I'm not sure. <laughs> off his white socks. Oh, oh my God. I'll pull him up higher. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I need long pants. But I, I mean, not. He <laughs> he wanted to be on camera. That was sure. what it was. So, I mean, I think I think every parent at some point in time questions or wonders if, or perhaps, maybe not every parent, but I think there's somewhere in there, you, I know, you know. I guess I never, qu I don't question, I mean, my kids are my kids and they right. are what I, they are. You know, and... Well, I have a stepson and I don't think I ever really questioned him per se. I mean, you know, he was just a, a goof, you know, he was a goofy kid. Yeah. You know, and he did goofy things, and little did I know that when he grew up, he would turn out to just be um, fear, super, super goofy, yeah. and, and a master of everything that he ever touched. You know, and all those things that he broke and played with and toyed with, he he was doing it for a reason. Yeah, trying you know? to fix them, put them back together, and you know, he did all kinds of crazy yeah. shit like that when <laughs> as a child. You they know, all do though. They all do crazy shit. As no, I guys. never tore apart stuff, but I was too poor. Yeah. You know, if I got something, I kept it and held it dear, and yeah. I was afraid and to I break get, it. And our kids were big on, okay, let's do the work bombs, you know, with that cleaning thing that they yeah. kids find shit online. And I had we had holes in our front yard, or we'd buy fireworks <laughs> crackers, and they would take them apart and make big ones, and they were just like little pyromanias. And we oh, came God, back yeah. here from on here oh, yeah. in Austin. We had hid this this firecracker thing that he made, and he had he was shoot he was like maybe ten years old or whatever. We get home, he's on the phone talking to his mom, saying, "Oh yeah, we just got home from his blah blah blah." And all of a sudden, I see Austin walking in the house with this firecracker. I go with the lighter. I go get that thing out of the house. He lit it. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and he freaked out. He threw it and it exploded. And he got a thing in his eye. So we had to go wow. to the emergency room the next day. And that's the kind of things my kids. Yeah. Do. Well, you know, that's kids, what. Yeah. They don't destroy things, but they make their own shit. You, you know, uh, I think as a parent, you just we all want them to do better than us. Yes. We hope they're more successful than us. We want them to be us. happy. We want them to be happy. Yeah. We don't want them to get hurt. 
We want them to stay out of prison. Yeah. You know, going to jail. Yeah. We don't want them to go for long, but it's. Yeah. You know, in Florida, and it's going to happen. And if they did go, if you want it to be a learn. My kids were. If you make a mistake, learn from it. That's the whole right. thing. Yeah. I never had curfews because I knew they were good kids and they weren't getting. Into well, when, when you live in a town of four thousand, yeah. there's not a lot. <laughs> well, you know, so my son Zach. A quick story. He's 16 and he's borrowing my truck to go ride around with his friends. Well, they of course cruise Duval Street. A business shop owner five or six blocks away calls me up one day and says, Hey, you got that red Nissan truck? And I go, yeah. And he goes, your son's doing burnouts on Duval on Street Duval. or something. And I said, really? He goes, yeah. I go, okay. So I don't say anything to him. He and his little friends come home, yeah. blah. A week goes by. Hey, can we borrow the truck again? I go, yeah, sure. And as they're walking out the door, I said, hey. I go, listen, if I have one person tell me you're doing donuts or burnouts, you're not gonna be able to use my truck again, all right? What? I go, no questions. He goes, that's so unfair. I go, too bad. If I hear it yeah. again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he knew right then. You know, I didn't call him out. I waited till the moment he wanted to borrow it again, and then I reminded him that I knew, and I wouldn't know again. And, and unless your parents, and he hated it. The kids will. It's like, well, how did you know that? How he did hated you know that? it. Yeah. They, you know, we put them out on the water so they'd be out, and every boat captain in town was calling me. Your son's getting too close to my boat. He's flying by and he's doing this. You know what it told me? They're watching out for him. Yeah. Oh, you know? yeah. And it does take a village to raise a kid. Oh, it does. You know, it so. Because I know there was one year when our middle guy, West, he works for right. an electric company up by us. And he was going to be a lineman, climb the, the poles and shit. And he was going to the first day of class. And John calls me. I'm at the gym and he goes, West just got pulled over by the police. And I'm going... So I called Wes, I go, did you just get a ticket? And he goes, no, but how did you know that I got pulled over at the police? <laughs> it was our brother-in-law that drives a truck that drives slow, and he and our son yeah. had this little Fast and Furious car. Oh, man. Flew around him with like 50, 60, oh. and a 30 mile an hour zone. The police pulled him over and, and knew he worked for combat and said, okay, just be careful, go. And it's like, Wes, we have eyes all around well, us. That's, that's the joy of small towns. Yeah. You know, I mean, growing up in a small town has so I mean, many advantages. Is, there's a lot it, of people in this town, but right. everybody and knows. If you live here, everybody knows It's still knows a small everybody. town. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My brother and I, one time, I grew up in a town of like 3,500. So small, yeah. It was small. And um, our cousin, third cousin, was the sheriff. So he could get away with shit and, in that town. And, and <laughs> his secretary was my aunt. So my brother and I are in his Carmen Gia VW. And we had tightened up the brake where it would, we were flying down this road, yanked up the emergency brake, did a couple of 360s, headed straight down the dirt road we were going to go down, laughing, going down the dirt road, all of a sudden here's blue lights behind us. And there wasn't anybody in miles. A state trooper saw us from about two miles away, chased us down. Because you're in a dark dirt road. Put us, put us in the back of his car. I'm going to turn you over to the sheriff and let them deal with you. And we go in and we don't say a word and my aunt So he didn't know you. He did not know us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and our aunt, as soon as he left, well, you know, I can't wait to call LFA, you know, call our mom. And boy, you know, that was worse than anything that the judge could have done, yeah. you know. Of course, I don't really know what we did wrong. <laughs> Still to this day. We're good kids. We're just driving fast. Yeah, yeah so great, we just Mom. did a, you know, a couple 360s on yeah. the middle of a... But there was nobody for miles except for yeah. this cop. <laughs> but, yeah. And you got caught. That's and we got happens. caught. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just don't get caught. That's the biggest rule. <laughs> well, so I know John's out there ready to go. And Tim's yeah. pacing around. So we got to ride our bikes home. So well, back I, to the truck. I, back, well, we can't go this, back, through back the cemetery Boyd's. now. Oh. No, we park over when we take the truck in with oh, the bikes. Okay. We park over by the uh, Bayview Park. Oh, yeah. We park there. there and then go. we'll go through the cemetery yeah. and come this way. Love oh, the cemetery. That's perfect. That's perfect. Well, so before you ride back to okay. your base camp, I'm going to remind everybody to, to <laughs> subscribe to the Sit With Kit channel. There we go. Like and share our, our videos. And then I'm going to ask you... Do a thumbs up right here by Sit With Kit. Okay, I'm going to ask you one last tough okay. question. 
You ready for it? I'm ready. I don't know. Am I? If you were a pizza, what kind of pizza would you be? I would be cheese pizza with extra cheese and pineapple whoa. and green olives. Oh, whoa. That's my freaking whoa. favorite pizza, man. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with that. I love pizza. <laughs> so I'd like to thank everyone for watching our show. That's all we've got for tonight. On behalf of the crew, Tim, and all the staff, Thanks for watching. And can we do a little toast? Ding. Ding. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>